Well, from an early age, um, we used uh, creels, taking out the turf at home. Um, myself, my brothers and my father. Um, so they've always been in use at our house. And I remember when I was about 14, I had a part-time job and I saved up a few pounds and I commissioned a, a local basket maker to make two creels for us. The ones we had were at the end of their life. So I think he was making the second of those creels and I sat with them for a couple of hours and I was fascinated as to how he was putting this together, such a strong um, thing to use. Uh, so I always had the interest from that day and I said I'd love to learn. And about five years ago, myself and my wife, Tara and our three children were walking, going for a walk along the Royal Canal near Longwood where we live. And this w woman came along on a bicycle and she stopped to comment on our children. And I commented on the basket that she had on her bike. And she said, well, I made that myself. And I said, I'd love to be able to make something like that. She said, well, I do lessons if you're interested. So I took her up on it and got a few lessons and uh, kept going back to her, but she wanted someone to help her do a few jobs around the house, cutting willow, putting up shelves, whatever had to be done. And uh, we had a, a bit of a barter system. So I learned how to make baskets and she got a few jobs done around the house. And that's about five years ago. I've never looked back. I've kept my head down making baskets learning new techniques of different basket makers. The materials I use mostly are willow. Now, different types of willow, different colours, um, they all have their own different characteristics suited to the uh, different types of baskets, depending on what they are, like creels would maybe use Harrison's or Continental, whereas the small shoppers uh, or bicycle baskets, they would use um, maul or Flanders or something, you know, finer rods. So they all have their different characteristics. I've dabbled in bark work as well, but only on a small scale. And I've started introducing rope into my shoppers and, uh, you know, as handles and stuff. But um, the material of choice would be willow. And you grow it yourself? Um, yes, I, I do grow my own and I plan to grow a lot more of my own to be maybe self-sufficient in my um, willow requirements. My favourite basket to make would be, and to look at, I actually love the look of a creel. I love making them. Um, there's a lot of different creel types, say an Ulster creel to a Connemara creel to a Kerry creel. They all have different styles, different techniques used. So I love learning all the techniques and then maybe making my own mind up of maybe merging a few techniques together um, to make my own type of creel. So, the creel would be my, my favourite type to make. The, the way a creel is made, um, these uprights or setan, as they're called in Irish, it's called setan because setan means something that's stuck in. So they were stuck into the ground um, and allowed to stand upright. And then this weave here, a very important weave, um, the mouth whale, or in Irish we call it the, the bunya bale. Um, it's a very strong, um, weave that won't won't release won't ride up over it's more inclined to drop down along the the creel rather than up so um that was that was how it was started and then the sides are woven up to this funyog the funyog or window in english was used uh, that's as a grab handle so that you could grab it lift it up onto someone's back or onto the donkey yeah. Um, so you continued your weaving right up to the, the base and the base was dropped down again and woven across and into each other um, and that created the orlar or the floor of the, of the creels. You uprooted it and you were left with these sharp spikes which you could trim back so that they were a bit blunt that they wouldn't hurt anyone. It had a, a lot of different functions mainly for taking the turf out of the bog or then carrying it home on a donkey or whatever. They used to use it for taking seaweed up. I know my own father comes from Tory Island and years ago they used to um, use the seaweed as fertilizer and all that seaweed was carried up 
using a back grill or a ducky grill. I make anything from these small bread baskets to large log baskets, large grills. At the moment I've got rods soaking to make a three foot by three foot by three foot square basket, which is one of the biggest I've made yet. And um, that in itself is going to be a challenge, yeah. but I'm still, still learning and still, still enjoying it very much.